Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Thanks for calling. Thanks for staying in touch by email as well. I can be reached on 781-380-8888. Uh, we see gold trading in a positive range over the next week to 10 days. Uh, we are seeing uh, the uh, president uh, attempting to make some noise on behalf of his jobs program. Let's talk about a jobs program that actually would get some people to work in high-wage jobs. Let's stop fooling around with solar and wind power and get back to basics. In the United States, we could be energy independent, totally independent of needing anything from the Middle East or Africa or any other troubled regions of the world. Let's develop our own internal uh, oil and gas uh, methods. Let's be careful about the environment, but let's also realize that the biggest problem in our environment right today is economic. Uh, we don't have enough jobs. We don't. Our economy is stalling. Let's get our economy moving. Secondly, one of the issues that continues to annoy me is that uh, the United States persists in the Afghanistan adventure. Uh, HDS Greenway, the noted diplomatic scholar, uh, talks about Afghanistan as an interrupted civil war that's likely to resume as soon as we leave. Uh, it's, it, I am not a historian by any means, but I have favored uh, some readings about Afghanistan from the 1840s and 50s. And I'm struck, as Greenway was, by the fact that we are using the exact same information that British government officials used in the 1840s and 50s to talk about Afghanistan. You know, they need to be taught a lesson. Uh, you know, we need to give them a thrashing so they start paying attention. Well, uh, you know, make them cry uncle. I mean, that's ridiculous, and it doesn't work. So all we've got in Afghanistan is an interrupted civil war that's going to resume as soon as we get back, as soon as we leave. And in the case of Hamid Karzai's recent reaching out to India, an, ex an exacerbation of the situation with Pakistan, we will see in Afghanistan uh, not only the Pakistani Secret Service, but the Indian Secret Service, and using Afghanistan, as they have for many years, uh, as a, uh, a sideshow for their own gigantic struggle on that subcontinent. Uh, the credit default market is trading as if China is likely to have some very serious problems. It's very important to realize that one of the uses of the CDS, the credit default swaps, is to uh, determine risk. And so when we're seeing the risk coming on in terms of China, we're seeing the reality that so many parts of the Chinese situation are quite fraudulent and that they are going to have some real economic difficulties. Remember, months ago, thanks to a client, we were talking about ghost cities. We're now discovering that this gigantic rail system that they built for billions of dollars, they can't use it because they stole the technology for the signals, and now they don't know how to operate the signal system. So what's going to happen to all that billions of dollars? We talked about ghost cities, giant cities, housing for 500,000 people, totally empty. I mean, so the Chinese situation is shot through with fraud and bad, bad practice, which is not surprising given that they're trying to meld communism and capitalism. That doesn't work. Lastly, we want to comment on gold. Uh, you know, we're seeing gold miners preserving their high margins. Uh, in some of the reports from last winter, they were as high as $700 an ounce. Gold miners are going to continue to make money. So this is Arnie Waters. I'm not going to close yet. i got to talk about the Red Menace. Vladimir Putin and Medvedev keeping power for another 12 years. Scary. Expansionism. Soviet expansionism. Nothing new. Don't be tricked. Have a nice day. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Keep swinging.